Thank you, members of the press. Welcome. And um, today is the second. Is the second of May. Twenty twenty-three. And I say greetings to all press members and our followers out there. I think you are all aware of the situation now in Zimbabwe. We are all going towards the elections. There is a serious uh, challenge around the MTC portfolio. And this is what we just want to share with uh, you and uh, also all those who are members of the MTC, which was formed by our esteemed president, Morgan Richard Changrai. I'll read the statement, then we can chat around it. We are here on behalf of the bona fide members of the MDCT who are determined to see the restoration of the Movement for Democratic Change to its days of glory when it was under the able leadership of our light icon, uh, Morgan Richard Changrai. May his soul rest in peace. The MDC was founded on the principles of democracy, good governance, transparency, accountability, and constitutionalism. We are still committed to those principles that represent the aspirations of the Zimbabwean people. Today, the MDC is a pale shadow of its former self after successive leaders made errors either through commission or omission. That led to the total collapse of the movement. The latest and most fatal battering of the movement has been under the current illegitimate leader, Mr. Douglas Monzora. Mr. Monzora has willfully and repeatedly violated the MDC constitution. He has disenfranchised the members of the party by taking away their right to decide who should lead them. According to the MDC constitution and tradition, the branch congress leads to the ward, district, and provincial congresses. The provincial assemblies then nominate candidates for national positions who are then subjected to an election of a national congress attended by official delegates, seconded to an elective congress from the lower structures in terms of the party constitution. The outcome of such a process gives legitimacy to those appointed to positions after such a Congress. Mr. Monzora and his illegitimate team have attempted to expel many of the founding members of the party for the sole crime that we disagreed in the undemocratic manner in which leadership of the party was to be chosen. We got protection of the law, and to this day, we are still proud members of the Movement for Democratic Change, Changrai, although disagreeing and not taking the leadership of Douglas Mansour. It is this realization and commitment to the People's Movement that the bona fide members of the MDCT have decided to rise to defend the party and its founding principles and values. In that regard, we democratically constituted a team that has been consulting structures throughout the country. The current structures have been very clear on the following areas. 
that the purported Congress held on the 18th of December 2022 was fatally flawed to the extent that structures considered it a nullity and demanded that Douglas Monzora must step down to allow structure formation from branch, ward, district, and province in preparation for a legitimate Congress. It is these structures that will elect their councillors and parliamentary candidates, as has been our culture in the MDC. I can confidently announce to the members and the public that this process is already at an advanced stage. They agreed to launch a community-driven initiative, Buruka Movement, electing people to abandon the Monzora directionless leadership and join the movement for restoration of the, Demo the, the democratic church. They affirmed the position that the leadership in MDC is chosen by the grassroots through the lower level structures and not by one individual and his elite friends. The structures in full support of the court application were filed challenging the presidents of, of Mr. Douglas Monzora as president of the MDC team. As mentioned earlier, the party will soon finish the mobilization structure and restructuring process and an authentic congress will be held early enough to allow us to fully prepare for the harmonized elections. We therefore appeal to all party members out there uh, in Zimbabwe and in the diaspora to remain calm, united and actively participate in the restructuring process, taking cognizance of the fact that the 2023 harmonized elections are only a few months away. The reinvigorated MDC will win these elections and form the next government and deliver the change in Zimbabwe. Without that, the opposition rem remains unorganized and might not make it in this election. Chinja Maitiro, Maitiro Chinja. I'm not confirming any split. I'm only confirming that uh, the MDC has to go back to its original thinking and all the cadres who have been in MDC must regroup and consider their structures and ensure that they go back to what Zimbabweans expected out of MDC. Once they do that, they become the MDC that can win an election. The rest is not MDC if it's not coming together. Monzora has done a coup by doing a congress which is not uh, according to the constitution. So he's not the leader. We are, I'm, I'm neither the leader as well. I'm saying we must come together. We are re constructing MDC to make sure that they choose a leader. So I'm not confirming any split. I'm confirming my thinking and the team of MDC and the recommendations that came from the people who have been consulting to what they are expecting MDC to do. And that's what we are doing. That goes to answer his question. We, we must be ready for elections. Our purpose is to go for elections. And we we'll want to do those elections. Unless and until we are organized, we might fail to meet the target, but we want to meet the target. We might lack a number of things, resources and, uh, and other things, to meet the target. But once we meet the target, then we participate in the election. You can't go to an exam when you have not prepared for it. So if we discover that we have not done enough, it is the members themselves who determine that they are going for elections. And we are saying, let them prepare and even have candidates ready whom they are choosing per ward, per, 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 per parliament, uh, per, 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 per district. Our, our constitution defines a ward as those boundaries that are con, uh, determined by the national elections. That's a ward. And then the, the, a district is, conf is constituted by those boundaries that are uh, elective for parliamentarians. 
So those are the, the, the boundaries we use, and they, they have not <coughs> changed. They remain just around um, 210. We have, so we have 210 districts. Those who will be ready, who have done their structures, cannot fail to go for elections just because Doug, Douglas Monzo has, has run away. They can continue to go for, for, for elections. Yes. Right. You're welcome. From? I think so. Our tradition is that when we are ready for elections, people in the ward, the ward leadership, that is our structure leadership, will sit down and nominate or elect a candidate. That means those with their names who present their their candidates to their ward chairman, who in turn will call for a, a leadership meeting that will elect a leader. That is structure members. The same happens to a district. That means all wards within a district, which is a constituency, will come uh, um, uh, together and nominate or and elect their candidates. So if there are more than two or three candidates, then they sit and elect. A, a proper election that determines a, 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 a member of parliament uh, and or, or a, a, a councillor. You are asking me that are the members present? You can have an excuse. I'm the one delivering the press conference. The rest can be having other commitments. They have had commitments. Uh, the, we are not splitting, we are a committee that works to, to deliver the change. The change within the change, to make sure that we go back to the original MDC thinking. So, uh, it's neither, it's neither here, no, even if I'm not there, someone will present, it's just that I'm the most senior here. Otherwise, uh, we are a good team, and those who want to come in will come. Uh, if, you, if you are an old member, or you want to be a new member, you can still come and join the, the team. We are, we, are, we, are, we are willing to invite uh, all the members of the MDC. Now, he is asking me if, uh, if uh, the name still appeals. I'm asking you. You are the journalist. It should appeal to people who are organized. How can you appeal when you are not organized? When we are, as we organize and become what used to be good to, to the people, what people saw in MDC, if they see it in us, then they will appeal. You can't be up, you can't you can't follow uh, a, a disorganized institution. And I will tell you, we talked about it in our, our last um, uh, press conference that we must preserve institutions. We must preserve this MDC. Why? Because it's the main institution that has stood the ground against ZANU PF. And it has had reasonable principles. But the leaders that have been coming have chosen to go astray and leave this, this uh, MDC as it demands us to do. Those constitutions which we are given are meant to be followed. I'll give you an example of uh, Douglas is going to court saying uh, ZANU has not done this. Yes, it is right and it is correct to say they have not followed enough on the, on the delimitation process. But did he follow his own constitution in him becoming a president? People just talk. We want politicians who, 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 who deliver the political, and social, and economic goods. The political good is making sure that you deliver the democracy first in your institution. So if you cannot deliver the democracy in your institution, how do you expect to deliver it in the national institution? Only came after failing <coughs> to organize. You know, the olive branch was thrown away by Douglas Monzora because I never intended to go to court any day until he started trying to fire me. I wanted, to ask, I said, I wanted to be a card-carrying member with the others. Mm. He could run his national team. I didn't want to be in the national team initially. I said, you can run your thing, but we will come back to you after consulting people. Then he started firing me. Then I said, you can't fire me because you didn't go through a process. And I had to go to court where we 
uh, our review case will be heard very soon to say is he legitimate if they say he's legitimate maybe he goes far but the real olive branch was like we cannot rep this institution by keeping ourselves in leadership without being chosen from the from from the grassroots the grassroots will determine the future of the opposition mm. or any other party mm. if you don't have those people all these questions won't matter because you will be alone and i don't want to, to be a leader of a, 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 a non uh, um, participating community then there are no people you saw it at that other uh, last uh, elections uh, it was almost zero because in the two years after Mr. Monzora took over uh, from at EOC. We never did any program, not even one. Not even to consult people to say, what do we do next? So how do you expect to win an election? He has just hijacked the institution, but he's not helping the institution. But I'm not saying, I'm not judging him. It is the community that should judge him. I'm only saying, let's do what we used to do. And let's not kill MDC. MDC should never die in our eyes. Those who have seen MDC, if they think it's Muzuri, we should run it. No, it should be them and it should be our members who should be saying, we don't want it to die. I will be out, someone will be in, but it must be an elected person who is elected by the culture of MDC. Mr. Murizo, can you come back again to your question? Okay. An alliance is, is, is best when they are also organized. Who wants an alliance of people who are not organized? I'm just saying, if you are not seen as a potential winner, are you going to get an alliance? You can call it an alliance of... of a weak alliance, but it's just an alliance. What we need here is a serious dialogue, with, including journalists, to say, are we really serious? Every politician must be interrogated on being serious about confronting the situation in the country. If you don't have meetings at ward level, you don't have meetings at district, do you expect it to win? It's never one man's band. It's, it's always about people. And what, how people view you as an organization first, not as an individual. An individual can help an institution to run. I, I, I really respect uh, uh, President Changrai uh, after what I've seen since he died. Because sometimes you are not know how he organized all these guys to come together all the time and all those splits. You can see people running for power. You don't, I don't need to be in power if people don't see me that way. Mm. People must see me that I, could, I can bring people together. But when you bring them together, they want to run to think they can do it alone. No one can do it alone. We would love Monzora and everyone else to be in MDC. But let's follow the rules. There is no need for division in the opposition circles. But there is division because there is confusion. You don't just follow each other because you want to beat Mnangagwa. I don't follow. I don't just follow a person because I must beat Mnangagwa. I must follow a person because I believe that this person, when we are together, we are going to deliver the, the, the as I said, the political, social, and economic goods. I can't follow a person who will represent Gono after all the stealing he was doing. Then I say he's my leader. What am I trying to say? Just because I want to beat Mnangagwa. Mnangagwa is Zan, and we are talking of opposition. Opposition must be doing the right things that will make voters appreciate their presence. So it's, don't, don't just do an opposition for the sake of opposing. It's useless to be in opposition and get the country and fail, fail to deliver the real goods that people expect. This economy is not easy. It doesn't need fools. It needs people who really think and who have proper uh, uh, policies to change the economy. The economy is down. 
So I, will, I, I, I really respect your question. But it's up to all the opposition leaders to start talking to each other. W when you talk, you must meet in minds. Any one of us can lead, but you must look at the leadership and assess it. Op you know what we call um, 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 politics of, uh, of uh, disgruntlement is not enough. It must be politics of disgruntlement plus proper processes that can ensure delivery of the, the, the expectations of the people. You know, I will ask you, how confident are you that, uh, uh, I, I will ask you maybe when you went to school, how confident were you that you will pass? Because when you are going to, to, to school, you work to pass, isn't it? So my confidence is, is 150% that we will win. The heart, as long as we do what people want, we will win their hearts and minds. But the moment we go astray, they, we won't win anything. So the confidence I have is even more because I see what is happening in the whole opposition. We are not talking about helping people. We are talking about individuals. When you discuss an individual, you are lost. You must discuss what the group or that individual can do. Leadership needs followership, but followership needs to also check on leadership.